I wanted to record one last little bitty stupid little video clip for my stupid little channel on YouTube and it is the last night I leave in the morning I I guess I wanted to maybe say how the experience was and how I how I loved everything about this trip again and it's just plushy looking at me it was scary whatever I love this round I love the second round it was just as fun as the first round and I tried a whole lot of different new things and I had a lot of good food a lot of good drinks I hung out with all of the same people and I met some of the people that didn't get a chance to meet me the first time so I came back for them and just to see everybody again and the airports weren't as bad as I thought I'm of course nervous to go back and getting back home you know as one would be I don't want to make this I don't want this video to be too long but it's kind of a scary or not really scary I just don't want to forget anything here you know it, it ju it'll just be a whole nother problem it should be like oh god I forgot that thing there and stuff I don't think I recorded as many videos as I did the first time but I recorded new videos and I'm that much closer to the end of 104 and I think that these videos were longer I'm nervous to edit them I'm nervous but I'm excited to edit them a lot of people were in my videos, which is cool. And I love that. It was so exciting seeing everybody participate and seeing everybody be down for, for stupid challenges that I had, like eating the bugs and doing the death nut and doing all of the other stupid challenges that I had. And doing Camping 3, that meant a lot to me. I don't think Waffle realizes it. <laughs> I went to Kennywood, which is a amusement park, like roller coasters and water. I have to hurry up because I have to go to sleep. The goodbyes are of course the worst part. It hurts every time, but like my friends here, I said it's because I know that I'm loved here. Pennsylvania is just like a, one of those magical, it's just like that magical place for me where internet friends can meet and do the impossible together. I want that to be for Louisiana as well. Internet friends will meet again. I just don't know. Don't know when or who would do what. I don't know if someone's coming to Louisiana. I don't know if I'm coming back or I don't know if I'm flying or if I'm driving or whatever. If I drive, I bet there'll be different type of content. Not like air, but whatever. I have to wrap this up. The goodbyes are the hardest. I said goodbye to the boys first. And then I said goodbye to my friend Sierra and her family. I don't know which one hurt most. They were both fucked up. <laughs> they were both equally, in their own way, hard. It was awesome. I might not never come back, because it hurts to say goodbye too much. Anyway, I have to go to bed. It's too late. It's like 11.46 or something. I'll see you in the morning. I might not film at all in the airports or anything, so uh, I might film when I get home and when I'm meeting Bindi. Uh, so, yeah. Goodbye, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this round of Pennsylvania vlogs. As you're watching this, there's going to be more Internet Friends videos, like day 102, which is Camping 3. Even after that, there's more. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Never mind. I was wrong. It is 1248, and I have to be awake at 4. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to be, you know. All right. Bye. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back at home now. It's time to surprise Bindi. Bindi would go up and down the halls and go to my room and wait for me to come out and she would be, uh, she would just wait. She wanted to see where I was and stuff to see if I was there and she would go to my car and to see if, uh, to wait for me to get out of it. So we have a plan since she misses me, we have a plan to go home and uh, what? Let me, let me know what you think. What you're thinking? What's the plan? Dad had a few plans. What I can do is I'll go walk her on the east side and you go hide on the west side by the tree, under the oak tree, because okay. she loves going there. And I'll unleash her once I hear you uh, start calling for her. 
when we come back to the porch, that's when you start calling. Okay? All right. Good job. Okay. Let's go. All right, it's time to surprise Bindi. I gotta keep quiet, mask my smell, I guess. Girl. She likes to be in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, Mom. Oh, yeah. I was crying. She, <laughs> she barked at me. She was like, oh my God, no way. Right? She ran halfway the porch and then ran back. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go in? We go inside now, Bendy. Come on. Hey. The luggage thing. All right. Oh my goodness. Beep Tweebot.